Okay, so I had this great question from uh, one of the VIP members on the samgoldengolf.com website, and he was asking about angle of attack, and uh, I've got the flight scope out here today to help me kind of just show you a little bit about how to monitor and control your angle of attack. So if you're getting too steep or too shallow, there's a couple of tips you're going to get today. I'm just going to hit a shot here, and, and um, the issue that Peter had was that he's getting a little too steep with his angle of attack, which is an uncommon problem for most uh, amateurs. It's a um, more common problem for good professionals, but what's happening with him is he's been working a lot on the square to square swing, he's presetting his impact position, and he's got a lot of weight on his lead foot, and he's tilting that left shoulder down as he goes back, and he's just creating a little bit too steep of an angle of attack. So he's definitely compressing the ball a lot of the time, but because his angle of attack is so steep, it's kind of difficult for him to hit it solidly. And you can just imagine if if uh, I had a baseball on a tee and I were swinging that baseball bat, it'd be a lot easier to hit it solid if I had the bat coming across kind of parallel to the ground and, and nice and horizontal. It'd be easier for me to hit it solid than if I was chopping down at it too much at an angle. So we don't want to have a swing that's going up with an iron because we won't be able to hit it solidly because the ground's in the way. But we definitely don't want to get too steep so that we're taking really big divots and making it hard to hit it solid. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what Peter was doing um, with his swing. He was getting his sternum a little bit more in front of his belt buckle, um, kind of at a dress and coming through. So I'll just go ahead and hit one like that and we'll get the numbers from the flight scope. You should be able to see in the video, I'm really far ahead of that ball. And that creates a, a pretty um, pretty descending blow or a, a, a lot of forward shaft lean and um, too steep of an angle of attack. I can still hit the ball solidly. It just makes it harder for me to hit it consistently. So I'll hit one more like that where I'm going to get my sternum in front of my belt buckle coming down. That's too much forward shaft lean. So it's kind of exaggerated. Um, the flight scope numbers tell me that angle of attack was 10 degrees down. So that's a pretty extreme angle of attack. And the launch angle for the ball was 13 degrees. So that's about what a five iron should be, and this is an eight iron. So if I wanted to adjust that, or if I wanted to alter that, I could just get set up in a way, I still can preset my forward shaft lean by setting my handle forward but I can just have some awareness for where my sternum is relative to my belt buckle. So in the other one, I was, I was in front of it with my sternum. In this one, I'm just gonna kind of preset my sternum slightly back of the belt buckle, and I'm gonna do that by bumping my lead hip forward just slightly. So as I bump my lead hip toward the target, that gets my sternum back behind my belt buckle. Now when I make a swing, I can still have plenty of forward shaft lean, but I can shallow out my angle of attack, so I'm not going so steeply down on it. So that one, angle of attack was down 1.6 degrees, which means I still had a downward angle of attack, but it was just not so, uh, so drastic. So the vertical launch was 15.8 degrees, which is um, maybe slightly low. Um, PGA Tour standards are probably, with an eight iron, I think they're about 17 or 18 degrees. Um, but in reality, I've got forward shaft lean, I made solid contact, and even with my sternum back, because I had that preset alignment through impact, I was able to hit it solidly and create compression, a little bit of a downward angle of attack or a little bit of a downward blow, and then I've got a nice high launch angle. So definitely something to consider if you're struggling with having your, if you're struggling with having your angle of attack too steep, it's probably because your sternum's getting on this side of the ball coming down. And so what you can do at address is just set the sternum slightly back and then have an awareness for that back sternum. We still want to maintain our alignments coming through, but we'll have a much more shallow angle of attack. 